Howdy guys, it's Irish. Uh, right off the bat, I want to apologize for the crappy audio. I've been trying to get audio to be a little bit more clear uh, ever since setting up my FreeBSD, but uh, this is the best I could do. So I just, uh, again, sorry about the bad audio. But <clears throat> so I have uh, been on FreeBSD for about two days now. Um, it's been okay. Uh, I have ran into some issues, like the audio on my USB headset. I have gotten at least the output, so at least that's good. But when I run it through MPV, uh, it's like really, really soft. But if I run audio through like YouTube, it's fine. So I don't know if this is gonna come out clearer or not, but hopefully we'll see. But the installation, my initial one. Uh, I ran into an issue so right when I hit start X my mouse froze and I went into the wiki I google searched and nothing uh, corrected it um, so the next thing I did was uh, I reinstalled it again <clears throat> and this time just left everything by default so I'm unable I have a dual monitor uh, setup on this desktop and I can't get both monitors to work. So I have, so, <clears throat> so right now, uh, so I, as you can see, I've been playing with the mixer. Everything's at 100%. So I don't know. Anyway, uh, so if I go to my settings here, and then go to my display, you'll only see one gigantic screen here. Uh, I, I realize it's because my uh, graphics uh, drivers aren't installed, but when I try to install them, I would get a black screen. I don't know if I need to put anything into my rc.conf or not, but, uh, and then I went from uh, CSH to Z Shell, uh, and this is the FreeBSD. So the weird thing is, so if I go back and do my favorite uh, one right here, uh, you can see it right now. Uh, there's artifacts. I have gotten that before uh, when I was on Arch Linux, and it was, uh, I'll just do a simple one here, and it was because of my locales. So if I do Z, and you can see the question marks. I believe this is because of my locales. So I set my locale. To enus.utf8, but I don't know why it's still not going. I'm gonna guess it's because of these other ones. So I don't know if there's a way to manually install that or edit this. <clears throat> I did follow some of the wiki guides and everything. Same thing. If I I have WeChat from the binary tree installed, but if I go, it says. Uh, cannot set the locales. Make sure slang and slc uh, star variables are correct. Uh, I, what I'm going to do is do a little demonstration of the port system. So if we go USR ports, and there's everything right there. So if I go say, uh, what is it? CDIRC. Uh, I'm going to try to do WeChat uh, in here. So if I go WeChat, I need to go into my super user here. Uh, and then all I have to do is say make, clean, install. So this will uh, install it from the port system, which is what Portage is somewhat based off of. Um, so what I'm going to do is Python, I don't need PHP, so I'm going to do all of that. Um, so, yeah, I've been running into some of those little issues like that. Um, I kind of like it. Uh, I do like it, but again, if I could get some of these, uh, like my dual monitoring system and my, uh, my locale set, everything is fine because everything is pretty much rock solid. It does remind me 
it, it gives me a boost again that I felt when I first did Arch Linux and then I did Gen 2. So it is really cool. The, uh, it's a cool concept and it's definitely, I feel, <clears throat> let's go syntax highlighting. Uh, I feel that uh, it's very close to actual Unix more so than Linux ever has been, except for maybe Slackware. Blackware does feel very Unixy to me, um, but I would love to keep this on my machine. But again, hopefully someone in the comments can help me with some of my issues. Um, if I can work those out, then I'll keep this on here. If not, um, then I probably will have to go back to Linux, unfortunately. But I feel that it is definitely really good on a laptop but with my current laptop it is it's got a weird uh, uh, Wi-Fi network card it's like the W I O or something like that or W L something like that I can't remember but I think with um, OpenBSD I have to put the drivers on a separate USB stick load those in then boot into OpenBSD just to use my wireless card. Uh, I have subscribed to uh, iBSD. Uh, he does some pretty good uh, YouTube channels and I did find a guy named Robo Nugi, uh, which is a uh, he's a very good um, actually while this is going I can show you these two. Uh, these two are really good at uh, telling it straight, so uh, let me IBSD. So here's this guy right here. He's got about as many subscribers as I do right now. Hey guys. Um, and then Robo Noogie right here. He's got a bunch of free BSD stuff, and he's got about a thousand subscribers. <laughs> So he, as you can see, he does a bunch of stuff with FreeBSD uh, and just the BSDs. Uh, in this video, he tries out NetBSD, which I had on a previous computer, and I wanted to do a video on it, but I just couldn't get my USB or any audio out or inputting device to work under it. It worked good. Uh, it worked well enough, but. With NetBSD, when I tried to move over to Z's, uh, Z Shell, it would not work, So, un which is unfortunate. But uh, yeah, he's pretty active right now. Uh, I've been going through some of his uh, BSD videos, trying to see where I messed up. And I I probably have messed up a few times. Uh, let's see where we're at here. Okay. Uh, I'm going to show you what my rc.conf maybe it's in there so I will then Etsy rc.conf so I have HALD oh that's why it's not enabled <laughs> uh, that's why okay uh, I will have HLND enabled I have dbus NTP mouse D actually if you're on a terminal uh, like the TTY and uh, in Linux, you can actually see a mouse uh, configure. One of the applications that I do like to run on Linux is ATOP, and interestingly enough, it doesn't work unless I put ATOP underscore enabled equals yes, like this, which is interesting. Um, I also could not find Ranger, um, but maybe it's in the port system. It's not in a binary, which maybe there's just no maintainer for it. We'll try to do this. I have tried to install Cute Browser through the port system, but uh, yeah, I never. It did not work. So whatever. Uh, I'm tr actually trying to get away from Cute Browser anyway. Um, hopefully this is almost done. I should have just uh, done a batch equals yes to all, which means anytime there is a prop, it will say go ahead and do it. Um, so hopefully this doesn't take too much longer.
Again, I, I really do hope that this audio isn't as crappy as my testing has made it out to be. Hopefully it's a little bit better, but something tells me I highly doubt it. That's why I'm speaking a little louder than normal. Hopefully you guys can hear me a little bit better. And I did move over some of my configs from my Gen 2 laptop, my main laptop. Uh, maybe it's be it's I, I doubt it that it's because it's from a Linux thing and I'm moving it onto a BSD machine. Uh, <clears throat> there's a, one more thing I need to try to figure out. Uh, on this hard drive, I have all free BSD, but on my two other hard drives in this computer, I have Windows 10. Um, and I know in Linux that I do a uh, OS Prober with uh, with the boots uh, with the boot loader. Uh, you can see it through Grub, but I'm with the bootloader for BSD. I'm unable to see my Windows machine. So uh, again, I'll try to get these other things to work first. Uh, before I tackle that because I don't really need to be on uh, Windows 10 right now. I only have it for some games and to uh, and I'm trying to transfer some music onto my uh, Pixel to Excel and I'm unable to figure out a way to do it through Linux so um, but it's mostly for uh, certain games like The Sims 3 I have the discs so, again, hopefully this is done. I, I might pause this while this uh, goes. So, hold on. <clears throat> Alright, um, it's still compiling. Alright, it's still compiling. Um, but here's the FreeBSD website. It's uh, pretty, uh, looks pretty good. Uh, the documentation, it's very similar to the Gentoo, which it has the handbook. Um, and it's got everything that you need to get everything up and running. Um, I have tried going through this to figure out my uh, my issues that I've explained previous, um, but unfortunately, again, still unable to. So maybe, and it looks like there is still some delay in here. Um, so uh, which is unfortunate. Uh, I also uh, with the initial with the first one that I went with. Alright. So the first one that uh, the first uh, install that I went with, uh, the one that I video record, I went with the Auto ZFS. Uh, this time around, it is. Oh, interesting. Um, let's see. Uh, let's see X there I went with the UFS file type right here so yeah uh, it's not bad it's uh, again UFS is Unix file system which was developed back when Unix was created uh, back in the uh, late 60s and the 70s I believe um, but I do feel uh, learning a little bit of the history of the BSDs. Uh, if they, uh, back in the like early 90s, there was like some big uh, court case that I think hurt them uh, a little bit with the popularity. And that's when Linux actually started uh, gaining popularity. Um, and now I think it's just too late uh, for like the mass of Linux users to be interested in the BSDs, which is unfortunate, because you know one of the things that I thought is you couldn't get gaming to work on BSD, and there's a lot of gamers, and we're now just getting game, uh, really good games, uh, in the Steam store for Linux. There is a way to run uh, Steam on Linux. You could probably do it through Wine. You just set up the Steam, uh, the Steam through Wine for Windows, and then you can run it through there. Uh, I wonder if there's a way that I can run my Dropbox through Steam or through Wine also, 
or if I need to do it through uh, somewhere else. Uh, there is something called a jail, which I just don't get it exactly. I think it's like con uh, like a container, containerization, like a docker and stuff like that, but I could be wrong. Uh, I have tried looking it up on this wiki here, and I've uh, seen some of the videos uh, that are limited that are out there. Uh, let me see here. So jails. Uh, so yeah, it looks like it's like a truded environment. <coughs> so maybe I could run doc, or uh, I could maybe run uh, Dropbox through there. But I might just try to use the web interface instead. So hopefully this doesn't take too long. Oh, uh, I got an error message. So now if I do read that. Alright, don't know why. Yeah, still same thing. Local and make sure that my... Okay, so uh, I'll just probably wait until one of you guys uh, helps me. Um, there is sudo, but I decided not to do the sudo. Um, move back to something less ugly here. Uh, this is actually not bad. There we go. Alright, so screen touch. So that's how you would install something from the port system. I uh, don't know why it didn't work, which is unfortunate. Uh, so that is my first look at the BSDs. I will try to keep this going. Uh, and see what uh, see if I can actually get this to work in for uh, for my needs and stuff like that. I'm trying to keep the desktop more for uh, like writing my resume and just doing normal uh, house stuff. So I think I don't really need to play games on there. So I'm gonna try to keep uh, try to have one of each just about one of each uh, operating systems that are out there. So my wife runs Mac OS, I run Linux, I have a little netbook that runs MX Linux, and now I have a, uh, a half and half of FreeBSD and Windows. So I have just about every operating system out there except for Solaris or uh, like Open Indiana. Uh, I forget those uh, so like Open Indiana, Trillix, and stuff like that. So, but again, <coughs> uh, my next video the the audio quality will might be much better. I didn't think you guys would have liked it if I went and did this through an SSH on my Gen 2 laptop. So uh, I'll just leave it at that, and hopefully this doesn't sound too too bad. So. I will catch you guys in the next video, and please leave a comment on helping me out here. I am trying to find as much uh, information as I can on how to get this to go, so hopefully uh, some of you guys can help me out, and uh, catch you guys later.